it's hot. I hope you have something cold in your hand to drink. I hope you all got that beer that we promised you. And if not a beer, a water, something to drink, maybe we need like a sprinkler to hit you guys. I'm gonna try to go quick, and that's gonna be hard for me, but I know you guys are hot. I just appreciate you all being here. This has been such an incredible run. I, I have been all over this state for so long, for 30 years. I don't feel that old, but I've been going all over this state for 30 years. When I first drove into town in 1994 as a journalist wanting to cover the greatest state, State 48. Amen. And then when I walked away from that career and realized that it was the fake news and I didn't want to be part of it, I, en I ended up getting the greatest opportunity of a lifetime, being able to go across this state as a candidate to represent the incredible people of Arizona. And I got to know you. Oops, I got to know you even better in that in the last three years. And in the last several months since we announced we're running for U.S. Senate, it has been an incredible opportunity to crisscross this state. And we're finding out just how difficult life has been under the Biden regime, under people like Ruben Gallego's horrible leadership. That's right. It's not easy for anyone. I mean, let's face it. I'm have, I feel like I'm speaking to a lot of Republicans here, but are there any independents in the crowd? All right, amen. Is it tough for you too right now? Yeah. Little bit tough? Yes, she said yes. Hell yes, it's tough for me. Guess what, it's tough for our Democrats as well. We just need to wake a few of them up and let them know that America First policies are gonna get everybody back on track. America First policies are good for everyone. So we decided a couple months ago, I said, let's take a bus tour across this state. I wanna hit every single corner and I wanna take our message, which is a message of, it's a positive message of how we can turn this around. We look at these problems, they're so big. We've got 12 million people pouring across, taking housing, taking resources, and our, our tax dollars are paying for it. It doesn't have to be this way. Solving the border crisis is so easy. Build the wall, build it quickly, remain in Mexico, no more catch and release. If you're coming here for see seeking asylum, you stay in Mexico until your court date. We could solve almost the entire problem that way. And that's what we're gonna do in January 25. But you gotta get out and vote. You gotta get out and vote. We have today exactly four months until the election. Can you believe it? I'm worried. I wish the election were right now because I don't think Joe Biden's fit to even serve the rest of the four months. Anybody out there worried about the future of our country over the next four months? Even the independence hands went up and maybe there's a secret Democrat here and I think their hand went up. Joe Biden is not fit for office. That is a fact. I don't think we need, I don't think we need a doctor to tell us that. We're using our common sense. We're seeing what we've been watching play out over the last several months. And finally, the fake news is fessing up to the fact that they see it as well. But you know what? They've seen it the whole time. They've been lying to us the whole time. Just as they're trying to lie to us and tell us the, the economy's great. Even though we can barely afford to put food on the table, we can't afford gas, our rent prices are up. If you're like me and you have a 19 and 21 year old, you're really worried that they're never gonna be able to get out and even afford rent, let alone a house. Even if they do everything right. We can turn this around. The border is one issue, the economy can be turned around quickly. We can bring our, back our energy independence and for goodness sakes, we can stop drumming up war across the world and across the globe. Nobody wants to send their kids off to an endless war. And I have all the respect in the world for the veterans out there who have fought in wars. How many of you have served our country? Thank you so much. Give these men a hand. Give these men and some women a hand. Thank you so much. There are wars that are noble and worth fighting. I don't trust Joe Biden. I don't trust Joe Biden. I think he's gonna get us into a bad war and it's, it's looking more and more like World War III. We need to make a change. So since it's so hot and I wanna come out and mingle with you guys, I'm gonna ask you for a few favors. Are you guys willing to do a few favors? Yeah. Over the next four months. Even the little one back there, not little, that, that young man, yes you, the one growing who just did, you can't vote yet, can you? Dang, if he was a Democrat, he could probably vote. But we're gonna ask you a favor as well. We're gonna ask you a favor. How many of you have 10 friends? Raise your hand. Not bad up here. I, I go to some towns and I don't get any hands. I gotta lower it to five friends and sometimes one. How many of you just have one friend? Okay, this guy's just got one. That's okay. <laughs> He's unvaccinated. 
You probably have more friends than you know. You probably have more friends than you know. Okay, for those of you who said you have 10 friends, over the next four months, you got to get out and talk to those 10 friends. Make sure they're registered to vote and their registration is up to date. Make sure they're going to vote. If they're, if they're like this, they don't know which way they're going to go, we got to talk to them about the issues. We've got the solutions. America First Republicans have the solutions. We can't let them believe the lies of the media calling this extreme. There's nothing extreme about wanting a secure border. There's nothing extreme about wanting safe streets, a good education. There's nothing extreme about not wanting to launch into another war. And so we got to get out and talk to those 10 friends, and then we got to get out and vote. We've got to vote in July. Are you all registered to vote? Raise your hand if you're registered. I need your vote in July. We're way up in the polls, but don't let we we got to vote anyway. We got to vote hard in July. We got to get those President Trump endorsed folks in. People like Gosar, Eli Crane, Kerry Lake. We've got to vote to get the Trump people in. If we get President Trump to the White House and we don't get the right people behind him, we get backstabbers in there. You know what's going to happen. They'll have a, God forbid we don't get the Senate and we have Chuck Schumer leading the charge. Ah, this guy he just screamed. He said, no, not Chuck Schumer. We don't want Chuck Schumer. He's, he's like six and he knows that. We don't want Chuck Schumer leading the charge. So we've got to get the White House. We've got to get the Senate. We've got to get Congress. Then we're going to turn this nightmare around quickly. And guess what? Every single one of your lives are going to get better. Every single Democrat, their lives are going to get better. Even the most radical Democrats' lives are going to get better. They won't say thank you, but that's okay. Their lives are going to get better because we're about America first. Everyone's welcome in this party, and we need to wake people up. So those 10 friends, we got to wake up, even start up conversations with Democrats. Come on, you can do it. Is anybody? Will? Some people are like, no, let's try it. Let's give it a try. Don't start with, I told you so. Start with, how are you doing? Are things tough for you because we're struggling, and how are you doing? Let's turn this around. We can do it. We know job, Joe Biden's not up for the job. They're going to try to switch him out. It doesn't matter who they put in. It's the Democrat policies that are destroying our country because guess what? It's not Democrat anymore. It's radical Marxism. And we're in the last final chapter of a Marxist takeover if we don't get this right in the next four months. I got one more favor. How many of you have a car? Are you willing to put a Cary Lake for U.S. at a bumper sticker on it for four months? Raise your hand. All right, we're going to get those out. Look for people with the Cary Lake hat on. Look for people like Tyler and Megan and Colton. And Nick's, Nick's got them right here. Nick's going to move into the crowd and start getting those out. Go easy on Nick. And we are going to take back this country. We are not going to just make America great again. We are going to make Arizona grand again. I don't want to be the fentanyl state anymore. I want to be the Grand Canyon state again. Let me, let me tell you a couple things about my opponent while we hand these out. I'm running against Ruben Gallego, the most radical person to ever run for office. He's a far left Democrat from Chicago who moved here to run for politics. He is pro open border, called the border wall dumb and stupid, has supported sanctuary cities. He actually marched and defund the police rallies wanted to end the filibuster to pass the George Floyd legislation, which would have defunded the police nationwide. We can't have this guy anywhere near the White House. In the last two years, they've cut your Medicare, even though they promised they wouldn't. Joe Biden and Ruben Gallego did that. And you know if they're willing to cut Medicare, they're going to come after, se after seniors' Social Security next. We cannot trust the Democrats anymore. They've lied to us too much, just like we can't trust the media. So turn the media off. Get out there, start socializing and talking to your one friend or your 10 friends or your 20 friends. Let's bring this country together. Let's bring Arizona together and vote for America first all the way. Thank you so much, Prescott. Thank you so much. I love you, Prescott.